it ain't money that I miss, cause they still gotta pay. It's five percent. So they make like nice too. It make a big difference. Hey guys, we are back. Who's back that? like we never mean? left. Who that is? See y'all in my business. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't. <laughs> we well, not we. I missed y'all. <laughs> they been here. I haven't. Um, but we again, we uh, thank y'all for tuning in with us each and every week. Um, if you're not already. You already know. Follow us on all social media platforms. That's SPSM underscore podcast. Hi, guys. Hi. I kind of miss y'all a little bit. Oh, I miss you too. Even though you said we was lying y'all last week. Y'all, was, y'all was, you? Oh, that was fake, huh, y'all? No, yeah. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just playing. No, I, really, I really did miss y'all. You know, We can't be gay for two weeks straight. They was gay last week. Who was gay? You was gay last week. No, I wasn't gay. I ain't not ever gay. Yay. <laughs> Since I'm the new person here, I guess I'll go ahead and introduce myself. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's Shay. Some of you may or may not know. No, I'm just playing, y'all. So, y'all know where to find me at. It's uh, Shay underscore Yvette. That's S H A I underscore Y V E T T E. That's on Twitter and Instagram. Hey, it's me. The anti-socialite. <laughs> the end. <laughs> the end. No, it's Jazz A. Um, if you don't already follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I'm sorry you can't follow me because uh, it's all locked up. Shut it but down. <laughs> shut down. Shut that's it where down. I'm at, though. So if you happen to like something by Jess Jazz A, that's J U S T J A Z Z A. Hey guys. No. <laughs> Nigga, what? 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 <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I told y'all I was uh, retired that last week. No, hey y'all, hey, hey y'all. This is Shayna. You can follow me both <laughs> on hey, IG guys. and what? Twitter at Shayna underscore Candy. That's S H A Y N A underscore K A N D I I. That's this is Alex. You can find me on IG and Twitter. Twitter on Tuesdays. Um, at Ali Day One, <laughs> that's A L E Y D A Y One. Her tongue on me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> It'll be popping. She don't ever say like. I she try every little heart hearts around the face. I be like, trying. I try because if, if I she does respond if to I everybody, don't do it that she way. Does I, if I don't do it that way, I'm gonna forget. So I just have to go. <laughs> you don't I ever just swipe like, up. Nothing I she retweeted, not a joke, <laughs> nothing. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Heart. I be trying because if I do, if I go around that, I'm gonna forget. So I can't. You know, I can't it give you a different notification. I can't be doing that. So I gotta <laughs> So I'm gonna give y'all two from the same person today. <sighs> I felt like he was a little underrated um in his time. Um I'm just gonna play himself. There's that. Was he underrated? I know. I feel like Baby. I think he got his run, it just wasn't long. Um, I think it'll be different now because he could be out proud. I think that was a Baby. lot of things. Yeah. But he was like, he was really big. I don't he was cute. Yeah. Um, this is power running. What are you talking about? And a few years ago, do y'all remember he? was singing like in the house or something yeah, i didn't think he sounded bad everybody was giving him shit i thought he sounded he sound older he yeah, just sound like nobody's older. voice is going to stay the same I, he sound a hell of a lot better than a lot of people today and i'm like he didn't sound bad to me and people smiling i'm like he's not gonna sound like he's 19 or 20 you know drugs and life and stuff no, he's not weird. <laughs> it plays a part no, he's not weird <laughs> the vocals no he's not twitter weird all he does is pretty much retweet people loving him and talk about Caroline and being gay. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. He didn't get weird. Remember, he, didn't he get arrested or something? And he kind of had like a, I don't know, but his mugshot was wow. But we still love him, Like for real, for real. 
Yeah. I think he gets a lot of flowers right now. Yes. yes. Yeah. Don't let Can We Talk come on. This was my favorite. This was oh, my favorite, like favorite by him. I'm about to play this and sing it in my car, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me go win it real quick. <laughs> right. Shayla, like, you, you, be wet? you don't want to be wet. You don't want to be wet. It's a little hang time. I'll be like, I'm going to be like, I'm on my little stairs. Yeah. Wait, do you remember when we did the thing? Just tell me how you think you tell your thing. You tell me how you think you tell your thing. You tell me how you think you tell your thing. You don't put the flat iron to that motherfucker 17 times that day. Middle hair gone because you got 17 ponytail holders. That was before the sock came out. You put all the ponytail on the area. So right, right in the middle every time. Why do the break was so tight? You just pull it up. Like, have you You definitely had the sock one. Oh, yeah. That was your shit. That was my shit with the bag. What the bag had two pieces in the front. Oh, the little bucket yeah, in the front, frontal, frontal here, okay? I gotta tell you, why are you being weird to me? I gotta tell you, why are you being weird to me? So, I didn't hurry about it because we can go ahead. Look, we all waited like, I, I, so, okay, so my anniversary, right? I put, so I put a unit on because mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I'm not going to wrap my hair. <laughs> I'm going to put this unit on <laughs> with some Gorilla Snot or whatever, right? Your frontal up. off. <laughs> I swear to God. Right hand we, on neck, <laughs> left hand on frontal. <laughs> we, in a, in, we in the suite, so it's like in the living room part. And I was like, how the fuck? But we didn't stop. <laughs> it, came, <laughs> it didn't come No, it didn't come off. He pulled it. Pulled it off. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine... Cause if you talk about it, <laughs> you talk about it. Right? <laughs> no, we busted out laughing because you know we we can do that. You know what I'm saying? We busted out laughing and kept going because ain't no, it ain't gonna stop no show. But I woke up the next morning because you know you forget you pass out. I woke up the next morning and I was like, oh, oh shit, it really did. It's all the way over there. But see, that's why he can't act weird with me. No, nigga, <laughs> you being weird, weird, weird to me. me. <laughs> <laughs> One hand on neck. One hand on frontal. Frontal off. Your frontal off. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, that joke will always have a real significance know, for me. I just kept going. I, I would have been like, like, did you just take my hair off? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? You I had, had a cap on. on. I had a cap I on. I had a cap too? Yeah, yeah, I had a cap on. <laughs> so, I had my locks braided. You was fucking bear cap? <laughs> Yeah, we, I had my ball cap on and everything. Like we, no, I'm gonna fix my hair. I remember we was out of town, and I had the frontal on the first time. I after I got my locks, we yes. was out of town. I had I had oh, yeah. a cap on, and we and I was like, <laughs> we fucking about to slow down. Like, I'm like, let me hold this. I'm just trying to be all into it. I'm like, I'm still trying to be cute though. Wait. If you gonna uh-uh. throw it off, I don't even know how that's going. Mm-hmm. You want to pull it, pull it back up to the front? When he was like, that motherfuckers was sliding, and then like I was like, I don't know. It's that's why I can't do no wig. Stay on. You like, can't put your combs in because it was the locks. Yeah, oh, it's, so it's just kind of. And, and this was a glueless unit too. So yeah, I was like, I got them in March. We went out of town. I think it was like July or something. So then I was trying a little obstacle course, you know, the little inflatable <laughs> water slide <laughs> shit. <laughs> Me and the homegirls, we racing on the motherfucker, and I get to the top, and I'm going down the slide, the motherfucker. It's, it's niggas all around, you know, I want to embarrass myself. Yeah, right, like, <laughs> like, oh, 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 oh. We at the bottom with water and shit, man. Right? I'm like, definitely the shit was crooked. I was like, this why I'm not doing this shit again. Next time we went, I said, they finna get these locks, and yeah. I ain't, the hair was hot. I think by the end of that trip, like, when it was time to go home, you you that motherfucker was in, in my bag. I was like, uh-uh, I'm just gonna wear it. It's gonna be it's crinkly yeah, like this. No. They was like, who the fuck is that? It's me, y'all. It's me. I can't. <laughs> At the bottom of the obstacle course. 
Listen, <laughs> bitch, motherfucker. I went down the slide. The wig came right after me. I said, "This that bitch help me put my hair on." Like, how do you? Okay, it's so too much work. When you have the water park, though, like, how do you bounce back from that? Because, like, I remember one time I saw this lady. I'm not gonna say who. I'm gonna keep it disclosed. <laughs> but uh, she had came down a water slide, and her whole ponytail came off. <laughs> <laughs> Like, so do you pick it up? Yeah, or do you, you got yeah. yeah. to be careful. <laughs> but I mean, they're gonna see your little girl, yeah. like, they're gonna see yeah, your little you mini ponytail. Off. You're gonna take your ponytail. You, you, you just embrace it, be like, Yeah, this I don't my like water parks though. Because I remember one time I went and, like, especially when I was doing the whole natural thing, right? So, you mm-hmm. know, when you do yes. natural hair, you have all kinds of Shit product in your hair. In your hair. Yeah. And the first time it white. got wet, my hair was white as fuck. That shit was running out your face. And my eyes like, was burning. It don't get a little white. It get a lot. So it be all white. So I remember Popeyes, right? The dude from Popeyes. So we had went to Stratosphere. Remember the dude through my Popeyes way? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you know, you fucking with a nigga Popeyes. from Popeyes? So we went. I had a drawstring. Um, I had just had Caleb. <laughs> oh, okay. He was like, we finna go to the top of the world. At the Stratosphere, we gonna get on the roller coaster. <laughs> Girl. He said, I see your ass. Couldn't scream and put your hands up because you was holding your ponytail. <laughs> yeah, nigga, because it wasn't finna. It was gonna be, it's gonna drop over yeah. Las Vegas. And I was so fucking <laughs> looking crazy. So everybody got their arms up, like, woo. And I was like, <laughs> in the pictures, when you see me, I'm like this. Oh, oh, he said, "Yeah, you couldn't enjoy that shit, huh?" No, oh. them drawstrings are different matter. world. Mine came off an ice house one time, trying to get high feet <laughs> in, <laughs> in the ice house. Was I'm like, puff? in my leg, T.O. I was getting high feet. I'm all on the, I'm on the ground. I'm like getting that shit right. I'm motherfucker said, "Who?" I was laughing. When y'all know laughing. She was like, "Oh, I'm so <laughs> We sat out there in the circle. She helping me put it on and shit. I came back up. We was cracking up. That motherfucker was like, "Really?" Oh it did. It did. Oh my God. He was like, I just, I will never forget her face. She was like, oh. he picked it up. He was helping me. She real when she helped me put it back on. And I had to go to the bathroom to fix that shit. I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> nope. Mm-mm. You got to pick it back up. Yeah. You got, you, you got to be. You got to have real people around you. But you're going to always be known as the motherfucker who wig came off. Or who ponytail always. came off. Always. We oh, that's like, the girl. Remember that one time? <laughs> No, bitch, shut up. Right. That's all. Oh, that's from 2003. Do you want to fight? Because evidently you don't like me. And the, bitch. I, and the thing is, keep mentioning it. Why keep bringing that shit it up? It don't matter how tight you think your drawstring is. Oh, that <laughs> motherfucker pop off so fast. You, you, have to you, you have to gotta put that comb in. Girl, I don't have time for all you that. Put the comb in. Remember, then they start making with the comb, comb in the front, the comb in the back, and, and, and the pool. Yeah, and, and you will pull in like, who this shit? And right there, then you gotta wrap it around. Because then the comb. But I was still. Yes, but if you bop the wrong way, it. Your, and your ponytail underneath would be tight. It'd be real. And then you done made it so small so it don't look all bulky in there. So now you look like you got a little door stopper for a ponytail and shit. Yeah. That won't be like going on like shit. That's what it look like Cynthia. Uh-uh. <laughs> ponytail just, and it'd be tight. Your little ponytail underneath it don't move. Because you done slick the hell out of it. The so hell you just out of it. walking around looking crazy. That black gel. And the ponytail is so light, it'll we fly way across the up our hair. Mm. I never trusted them combs. I always you gotta would take put them out. some pins up in there, too. I, I got time. I would, I would do both because yeah. I did, I was so afraid you going to be real ponytail. ponytail. Oh, no. You know like, what ponytails didn't come, come off, though? The, the microwaves. microwaves. No. Nope. Never. Never came Well, because you had to wrap them around. Wrap, 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 wrap. They were so long. They used to stick so bad. They used to stick bad as fuck. Spritz um, and, and, and gel. Yeah, oh, yeah. I like the way a lot of bodies. Smell. But in the microwave in a, oh. with hair, mm. mix the spritz and gel, and then popcorn and whatever you the pork chop you heat it up. Yeah, then rolls yeah. to come out hot as fuck. <laughs> and then they had their <laughs> all crunchy and shit. Baby. <laughs> Spray some. <laughs> then they got an oil sheet. You got oil oh sheet. You got to separate your crumbs. Oh it was just the way the the rollers. The roll the prep be work. Mm-mm. And then you gotta run, like you say, you gotta run your fingers See, through. Like yeah, you gotta, you gotta put some we can bring it back though. Room. I feel like I didn't leave, uh, live my life. That the, was my mom because I never had one. My mom had because you had hair. <laughs> that was a bald head kid. <laughs> that was supposed to be bald head kid <laughs> who was struggling with it. You had your own ponytail. ponytail didn't quite curl all the way over. No, so my ponytail looked like a fan. It was like this. Oh yeah. You remember? You had a high ponytail and like a, the back of a peacock. Yeah, because you know your hair was too short. You had to push that motherfucker up. You had back flat as a motherfucker. You like ain't got an else of body. That motherfucker just like this. It just broke it off. We didn't even know. We didn't even know. With the curl, and that's that's when we used actual curlers. Yeah, we had no. Flat irons. Yeah. 
Nigga, she's the tight as a motherfucker. And then you don't know that you're using this big ass ponytail holder. It's <clears> eating up the length of your ponytail. So your, your ponytail holder stop right here. And then you got <laughs> big ass cotton like, ponytail. And then you put the spray on it. And then <laughs> we used to burn our shit. Burn, burn the, the shit out, out of it. Yeah. And then we decorate the ponytail. I'm gonna put this this butterfly clip oh, here. I'm gonna put a, a blow pop you over here. Clips. I had I always had, had clips in my hair. Clips in your head. Or when um they used to sell those big suckers, the, I used to suck the stick. Party too? Mm-hmm. Sure did. I ordered me some. I got the rest of them in my drawer. Sure. I'm gonna wear some. Oh, okay. I <laughs> okay. Let me tell you about it. This, this funny hair story. So we um we didn't we had really I had really thick hair. All of us had really really thick hair. So we wore ponytails forever. Stepdad used to do fashion shows, and we used to model with the adults. So his mom came out here. She was like, "They can't, you know, be modeling with these adults and have these ponytails in their hair. Let them get a perm." We was trying to get a perm forever. So mom finally put a perm on our hair. We was excited, right? So when your new growth start growing back, this <laughs> shit thick, and my hair I used to have these sideburns. My <laughs> edges used to be real real thick. So my motherfucking ass thought I was gonna take a razor to my shit, girl. And then you see how my hair grows out right here, right? <laughs> It used to be even thicker <laughs> and grew out more. You know, over the years, it started thinning out and shit. I done took a fucking razor and shaved this shit off. <laughs> this and this. I, and I thought I was going to, like, cut it down. You, I shaved it off. <laughs> my mama beat my ass, okay? Your and I look crazy <laughs> as a motherfucker. <laughs> like, I look like, yeah, like. That's how I look. Yeah, you know when they go to the barbershop and motherfuckers. Do I don't know because it was it was it's thick like the and it was bushy. Put on where it just be like, Shoo. nigga. I fucked myself up and had to walk around That's like why that. You, got a you deserve that. Shit. I sprayed some water in my head. Didn't know that it was this stuff called sun in. This was all in the oh, same week. So when you go out so into the sun and change the hair, now my hair blonde and orange and brown and shit. I'm like, what did you do to your hair? Like over the a few days, it just started changing. I was like, I didn't do anything. I just sprayed the water in there. She was like, that ain't no damn water. <laughs> Girl, I was fucked up. So now only do I got a fucking five head. No hair on the sides. My shit is orange. It's, it's look like fall done attacked me and shit. It was just a fucked up ass time. Sunny, it can hair. it can be cute, but it can be real fucked up. Too. Yeah, but when you think it's water, you yeah, spray it all over. Oh, yeah. I fucked myself up, y'all. <laughs> Did y'all ever cut Literally. like a ponytail when y'all was little? No. I cut a ponytail off and it was in like one of the worst it was like a big thick ass ponytail mm. like on but the why? What were you Cuz I wanted to play barbershop so I had asked my sister <laughs> I said <laughs> Let me cut your hair so we could play barbershop. And she was like, No, you can't cut my hair. And I said, Okay, me being me. I, yeah. I don't need nobody. I don't need you. Okay, fine. I'll play it by myself. So I went by myself and cut a whole ponytail off. When your big Rudy Huxable ponytail. It was like too? a big thick one. Like Ooh. my mom used to do like, you know, you know the ponytails Ooh. all over. So it was like one right you here got your at ass the top. Beat. She whooped. Ooh, that's probably the only whooping that I really, really, no, I have one other one, but that one is the one that I, she whooped my ass and put me in a corner. Well, you needed both. No, no, either or, no, don't put me, don't, don't put me in, put me no. in. At that point, it's a Yeah, because I don't, don't want to see your face. I don't want to hear you cry. Shut up. Go. Do not put, no, give me, I'm Shut never, if it's a, if I ever had a choice between a whooping or some other punishment, Give me the whoop because you're going to be tired after seven swings anyway. And I'm going about my business. Mm-mm. You're not going to leave me in the corner, go get on the computer, go cook dinner, and I'm still in there. Mm-mm. No, you're, fuck that. You're she always, Don't and even me. if she did offer a, a option, the option that you didn't want, she's going to give it to you anyway. Yeah. So it's like, why the, Why are you asking me? Like, oh, so what, so what you want? Do you want a whoop or you want to sit in the corner? A whooping, go sit in the corner. Did y'all ever get <laughs> the option of getting a whooping in your hand or a whooping on your butt? Yes. Give me your hand. I always turn to my ass at the first. No, week. I'm, I'm not even like <laughs> you're not about hurt. to hit me on my hand. No, girl, that shit hurt. And then I, and put then it back you, out here. Then you try to switch what? your what? You ever try to switch your hand? <laughs> Give me the other one. Why would you oh, whip me on my hand? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's what I used to be telling my mom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that shit let like, the first one. Mm-mm. Give me your hand back. And then who be, does that? Black people. <laughs> That's some God, leftover that's slavery crazy. shit, y'all. Don't be don't hit me yeah. on my hand. No, my now, hand, how I'ma do it? My hand turned into my ass after two years. Yeah, no, that's I'm it. turning around. Just hit me Fuck right that. here. I'm on the gra- I'm spinning like a like a turtle on the floor. You know, <laughs> on my legs kicking. You have to hit me my leg, my thigh, my back. Mm-hmm. So you not hit me my hand no more. Put that no. 
I remember the one time I ran from my mama. Y'all, she was whooping me, and I ran, like, around the corner. You found out how dude, fast she was, huh? First of all, okay, uh, fucking Flojo. <laughs> okay, first of all. And then... She she told everybody that like, she made it seem like you, you, you did something. Her her. You tried to fight her. Can you believe? Okay, for, you were hitting me. What was I supposed to do? I'm running. I you get on the phone with my aunties telling them, yeah, you won't believe this girl tried to. Okay, so now you lying. Don't try to grab the belt because you really oh, assaulted her. Ooh, no, I'm not I mean, doing at that. that this motherfucker gonna grab at me. Yeah, yeah bitch, I was grabbing the belt. <laughs> Shit, you fucking me up over here. She flinched at me. You don't see these well. <laughs> Bitch, I am bleeding, okay? Yeah. This hurts. What more do you want from me? What you crying for? And then they I'm going to give you something to cry about. You already yeah, did. did. No, and then they tell you, uh, go put on some pants, okay? Nobody, you, oh, you want me to cover up the evidence? You oh, go to school no. the next day, you got on shorts, you see a whip. Oh, no, you got to go change your clothes. Oh, don't act, don't, no, the police need to see this. I ran from, I ran Let, from Miss, Pam one time. Miss I, ma'am, you I, going to jail. Yeah, I ran from Pam one time, and we lived in a townhouse. You could go up the stairs. <clears throat> the hall was so small. So I'm thinking, Coach oh, she bigger ass. than me. She can't run. So I'm like, I'm going to take off. I'm going to hit the corner. I got up three stairs. I turned around her face right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> so I got drugged down the stairs, whooped down the stairs. Oh, now, now I'm getting a real whoop because she's tired. Because she had to run after me. And Pam don't let them break my damn no nail. What? And they going to say, go take a nap. You all got to tell me twice. I'm going to go to sleep anyways. Don't snap this fine. <laughs> That nap after the whooping was always good. <sighs> you wake up, so fucking spaghetti cooking and shit. It's, it's dark time spaghetti. outside. It's I wonder always if spaghetti. they ever felt bad like afterwards. Yeah, because that's did. why they made you dinner. I think they did. Because even when I yell at my kids, I'll be feeling bad. Like, dang, I don't have to do all that. But I don't but think they felt did. as bad as how I, yeah, you didn't I have to do all that. And then they, talk, <laughs> and then they still, and then they be talking don't shit. Then they the be talking shit when you, after you wake up from your nap, you come down and eat. Yeah, yeah, it's her, huh? I bet you won't do that shit again. That's, 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 Why are you taunting me? <laughs> bet you won't do that shit again. Oh, you can't speak? What you want me to say? Hi, thank you for whooping me. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for, for dinner. Thanks for dinner. Fuck you and spaghetti. I'm sorry, mama. <laughs> you was like, I'm not going to do it again. You let me Now, I did hours. always do that. That I was definitely coming back with the... Cause I don't, cause my mom was you crazy with the extended, uh, you know, punishment. being in trouble, pr- punishment. She would, I would, she would whoop us, and then mm. we would still have to stay in our room for like oh. a week. For what? A girl? week? Yeah, uh, yeah she used to be tripping. No, ma'am. <laughs> tripping. I'm, going, I'm going outside today. I used to be like, Mama, I'm so, Mom, no, Mommy, because mm-hmm. I didn't start calling her Mama until I was older, and she stopped whooping us. I'm like, Mommy, I'm so sorry, I'll never do it again. No nope. shit, our shit I was always that. excessive when. We got in trouble on our system, them dad. We got a whooping. We had to go to our room for the week, and we had to write sentences. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine that when you was done writing the sentences, it wasn't no fifty times, a hundred times. Sometimes it used to be five hundred. Sometimes it was a thousand. And after that, now you got to read a book and write a book report. Yeah. Or get one of them fucking math books in there and do a bunch of problems. Like this shit was brutal. Smart. Yeah, we were smart, but we was bad because we was in the house. We would start crazy. Like, like, how do you expect us to not keep fucking up shit because right. we can't go outside? So we, we playing in here now. Now. now you mad because the table broke. You mad because the toilet got broke. Well, we didn't do that. Well, we fucking break the toilet, that. though. My cousin did that. Oh. Every time they would come out, his nephews, when they would come from out of town to visit us, they always fucked up something. And then, like, we going home in the morning. Or they, like, <laughs> like we get in trouble for them. Like, y'all can't come over here no more. But, you know, we used to be excited to see somebody yeah. other than our siblings. So we didn't give a fuck. But every time that goddamn Andre would come over, him and Terry, <laughs> we always got a whooping. Every Did fucking y'all used time. Did you get whoopers after you hurt yourself? Like yeah. we used to have. So me and Devin had a set of bunk beds. What? And then my brother had a single bed on the side. So we used to like. I'm gonna jump from the top bunk. <laughs> I'm gonna jump from the top bunk to over his bed. Right? We just gonna jump off. Nigga fucked around and missed the bed. My mom was getting dressed oh, to go Lord. to. The, my mom was getting dressed to go to the club, and uh, I was like, Devin, I think I could fly. <laughs> I remember the fuck out of that. Nigga, I dove. I'm, you know, I, I turned my head. Bitch, you think you Peter Pan? They called you famous. What, what was his name? I don't know. The, I don't remember. But I just, <laughs> so I tried to like tuck my head like an airplane. So you know how the airplane nose dive, <laughs> but the floor come real fast. So I done laid it head first on the ground. My mama didn't come in there to check on me. She stepped outside. Uh, stepped outside the bathroom. <laughs> Alex, you okay? I hurt myself. I hurt my neck. Girl, she whooped my ass and still went out. 
Go tell me don't go to sleep because you might have a concussion. <laughs> I might. I just might. We Bitch, I got a, bla- a brain bleeding. You go into the club. I'm talking about don't go to sleep. The, you know what? This, you think that you've been in the air for a long time, but that fall comes so, so fast. fast. So I jumped. It wasn't in floors. Like it was yeah. like and rain. Yeah, so I, I jumped. I jumped up and then tried to. Dive my head like the nose of a plane. Girl, I hit that floor so fucking Dumbass. Devin, Devin was like, Alex, all the stuff on the floor scattered like this. Like- <laughs> oh my God. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. She said, every, she said, you came so fast. That- she said, That's you came out. so fast. All of the stuff on the floor just scattered like this. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And she's my mom didn't stay home, not to tend to me, not none of that. Her ass still. She had plans. What are you talking about? I was stuck. Because mama gotta have a life too. She didn't come in the room to look. She stuck her head out the bathroom like. <laughs> you know she was hurt because she didn't cry right away, I didn't, y'all. I, I didn't cry. I didn't cry at all. She my just, neck was hurt. <laughs> I was fucked. She could have been paralyzed. This nigga in there with a spinal injury and shit. <laughs> 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 and getting a whooping on top of it. Like <laughs> this motherfucker on her way to being a paraplegic. Your <laughs> mom talking about you all right. I don't go to sleep, bitch. I didn't what? have a full boy. She, <laughs> heard. Like, she said, no, no, I hurt myself. I couldn't. I, I was on my neck. No, I ain't cry. I couldn't cry. I couldn't fucking breathe. I was I fucked up. Myself. The toy, the toy said, <laughs> everything scattered off the floor. Devin and Devin just sat on the bed and watched. She ain't try to help me. Nigga, I'm on my neck. She just looking like. She like you gonna get your ass whooped. Mom still took her ass out. Y'all, that's the, abuse. Oh, you shit. Said your mom cussed her out too? No, she took her ass out to the club. Oh, we her got and, my, her and my stepdad, they got Ooh. the fuck on up out of there. They didn't care. They wasn't going to be dealing with y'all. They have stuff to do. <laughs> Can't be looking like Chris Free. <laughs> <laughs> on my neck. She didn't even care. As y'all can see, we've had a very toxic childhoods. Um, our parents should be in jail right now. <laughs> they but, should have been in jail. But we I love them, but we're going to stick beside them. <laughs> <laughs> and black people other black people that used to see us after we got whooped i told y'all that i had ducked um one time when i was getting whooping and i ended up with a black eye so um we had a century link man come he was black and when he walked in the door he looked at me my eye was fat and he was like yeah my mom like a head nod like yeah she must have deserved that nigga call oh, the yeah. police <laughs> help me yeah that's help. that's trash he looked at he was like you know yeah, she must have deserved it because black people used to do that, you know. I don't, I don't, I'm not okay with like people uh, doing all that crazy stuff to their no. kids in public. I know a, a couple of weeks back, I saw a lady and she was just like throwing her, her baby in the car and the baby's just screaming, hollering. I said, Is everything okay? Because <laughs> what yeah. are you doing to this baby? And she'd have been like, Bitch, yeah, oh, and you well, can mind my motherfucking oh, bitch, well. your, mind your business. Oh, well, well, then I guess we're gonna have to call them people because I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Are you abusing her? Because she was just screaming, Baby, you okay? <laughs> Are you alright? Because nobody right. gotta be an advocate for these kids because yeah. it really be some fucked up shit happening yeah. in the kids. Yeah. Like, no, we was. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think I earned all my whooping. So yeah. I don't think nobody earns to. No, not no. After you, we almost, we, we, don't, we don't. Listen, they probably. I, I didn't probably earn them to the extent. That I was gonna say I don't think that we earned them to the extent that we got. I, I think a lot of right. shit was just inherited so yeah, they yeah, just yeah. it just trickled down and that's exactly um, what it is but I yeah but i like i always say i think you know our generation them. is the one that pretty much that is uh breaking a lot mm-hmm. of those generational well, curses some of the people in our generations do need to go back to whipping their kids no absolutely because some of these motherfuckers is, is fucked up they need to get um they need to you know what they need to bring back like jenny jones and shit when they used to have the sergeants come on there and like shake them kids Remember the little <laughs> and they go to boot camp and shit do you want me to be your daddy he was like Yes. yes. <laughs> he need a daddy. He My name's Najne. I'm 12 years old and I smoke and I drink and I don't go to school. Be like, bitch, what? And I don't give a fuck. What's happening here? And the man come on, we be yelling all in their face. She be like, so. So, so you ain't my daddy. Then they come back and shit after that week, and they be talking about him. She be like, "Mama, I just want to say I'm so sorry. I don't do better." And then they go to the little review. It is reported that Tanajane she did great for about two months, and she went back to doing what she of normally did. Because her mama don't be Because I smoke and I drink. <laughs> like what? And my mama can't tell me what to do because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah. Bitch. It's always the attitude. They, they be cussing all out of order. little fat little girl hurts her little well, tank top up here. And she be like, I'm, I'm 12 years old. My boyfriend 18. What is and happening here? And I be having 20 guys. Yeah. 
in my grandma's bed. It always be like 20 guys. Yeah, and I have guys. sex with 20 guys. I even had sex in my grandma's bed. And I don't time. go to school. <laughs> and they always do their little dance and their little hero. <laughs> And they used to have Why the belly was always out though? Yeah. Because, was, and they had them little fan ponytails too. Yes. And it came out, boo. So, oh, fuck you, y'all. Fuck you don't me. know me. You don't know me. I don't give a fuck. Y'all see what happened I don't with the last one? Fuck. They made the last one famous. Shit. Yeah. Girl. Cash me outside, girl. No, these girls was different. They, they was. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's why I don't do it no they more. Be she was on Dr. Field. And yeah. it'd be adults in the in the crowd arguing with the arguing little kids. Kid. You're 12. So, and fuck, y'all can't what me. <laughs> and then the always kid. be that, that one. Like, excuse me, can I say something? You yeah. know, stand up on the mic. <laughs> I just want to let you know that if you was my kid, I, I would have beat your mother ass. Because no one else should be walking around like that. That is wrong. So, bitch, do something. Like, that is wrong. Do something. wrong. So, bitch, do something. That's what's wrong with you now. You don't suck him. Give it to me. 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 Excuse me, excuse me, Jenny. Can I say something? And here comes Jenny with the microphone. I just want to say, <laughs> they be fucking tripping. They need to bring that shit back, though. I'm so, I'm sorry. Y'all, she on that shit again? <laughs> oh, she is on that shit. <laughs> she ain't lying though. That shit, they always lying. She ain't lying. She did the whole body because the microphone was always way too low anyway. <laughs> They always come, excuse me, can I say something? They bend it down, they be like, cause you <laughs> The crowd be They be trying to take the mic back and she yes, because I'm like, <laughs> like, like, like I got you came out all calm and initially now you Ooh, that ch- our child was fired. <laughs> oh, that was talk bomb. shows. Talk shows the was shit. Talk were talk the shit. shit. What was the, the little lady? Sally Jesse. Sally Jesse with the red glasses. So I like Ricky Lake. Ricky Lake. She was cool. She used I to have like Donna Hughes. Who? Donna Hughes. Yeah. He had. He was, he was like grown up series. He was kind of like, like Kent Montel uh, Williams. No. I don't know. Did Montel come out yet? No. No. Okay. Anyway. Was Montel married? That don't mean nothing. Oh, he was. <laughs> yeah, he was. Too. I think she was like a Mexican lady or something. She know. was an other. <laughs> She's not in the other. Box. We have not got to topics at all. This has been great. <laughs> this has been amazing. Absolutely. Been everything that we needed. Today. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. I'm going to show you what to do. <laughs> like, well, I don't want to. Then they be like. <laughs> <laughs> You remember when I used to like, give him, mom, don't send me with that. We be like, oh, now you want to cry. We be sitting at home like, that's what his motherfucking ass get. Mm-hmm. Send his ass on. They always do that too. Mom, no, don't make me go. Get the only one that's still going strong is Maury because we will never get tired of seeing the people run off. You are never going to get tired of seeing the people running off. You are not the father. Maury, old ass is old. That's the messiest nigga on the Instagram. You are not the father. Maury, old ass is old. That's the messiest nigga on this earth. He's so messy. He be bringing the people back. And then they I don't understand how. How do you have that many men? The one lady. Like, that shit wait, is what was her name? It started with an M. Marissa or something like that. She had like, she 25. Had like 25 dudes. Mm-hmm. She had to test over a whole bunch of episodes. And every time she would pass out, bitch, what were you doing? <laughs> you, you only ovulate for a couple of days. Surprise, like, now. How you fuck all them people during an ovulation period? What is happening? What is that? Or you know what? Like when the daddy is deceased and they got the grandparents mm-hmm. that yeah. come in. And that'd it's two sad. women. That is, the, that, one, that'd be sad. the one woman that the parents didn't claim always, always be the baby. Yep. And the other one that they didn't put on the obituary and all of that. Don't I like when the, when the men be calling the babies ugly. <laughs> and they be, and that baby don't even look that like That baby don't me. look like, look at that baby head. That baby a little loose neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little and Louis loose neck. <laughs> right they baby. Maury, she was fucking like 12 dudes. You know what I'm saying? I want the only one. And why was you in there wrong? Yeah, and then they run to the back end because I'm going to help you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. They rub the Even though he ain't mine, you know, I'll step up. No, you ain't. The baby today, though. He ain't did nothing for this baby. He ain't bought nothing. Ma'am, your baby is literally. Do y'all watch paternity court? I used to. That should be it. It be tugging on my heart Yeah, I'd be crying too much on there, so I had to stop. I was like, no, because I was trying to lot of the time. You was trying to what? Take my brother and him on there. <laughs> <laughs> I was. They had agreed to it and everything. I had got a call back. I was ready to go. And he said, yeah, then. You had a call back? Yes, bitch. We was finna go. <laughs> Me, my mama, and my brother. And then your, the bitch oh. gonna talk him out of it. Because you keep talking about you 
let's take the test I'm like, let's go let's go and she was like oh you really want to go and try to put them people in our business he like yeah. no i don't want to put the nigga the world already in it come I on i was taking him i, I was it all was, <laughs> you know, like, it all this is not my brother this is not my mama's son this is not my mama baby <laughs> but it always be the mom and the sister coming on paternity yeah, court because i want to know time. i want to know and they be like yeah and that bitch she don't know what she talking about she just mad about the, the baby mama, the baby mama. yeah that's what she be like y'all ain't never she be talking so much shit i'll be like I ain't doing shit. Like, first of all, I ain't obligated to do nothing no. for anybody's child. Just no. like nobody's obligated to do anything for mine. All the shit y'all want a motherfucker to do for y'all kids, ain't nobody doing that shit for my kid. Right. And I don't expect y'all no, to. This real. not y'all fucking kid. Yeah. And your sorry ass mama and your sorry ass sisters. Uh, Ooh, excuse me, bitch. Excuse me? That ain't my kid. That ain't even his kid. <laughs> <laughs> this is his kid yeah all right bitch Let, let's go take the test we could do it by me or with my mama we don't even need this nigga i don't even need you you can just get Bring, one from cbs i know that she won't let us they get the baby to even swab it. it take oh. the baby to, just buy the baby a new toothbrush the baby and he, teeth but you know what his <clears throat> i ain't gonna call him dumb but i think he knows because <laughs> we, we talk yeah, he he he, he really wants yeah, a kid yeah. and so every time he get the grin and then she get in his she ear and then he be like, she be like, I can't believe you let your family talk you into thinking that she is not yours, bitch, because she ain't. <laughs> so, and then she get around and be like, oh, she look just like Jackson. Don't. She look, look at she look like your mom. Don't. She don't even look like, bitch, she don't even look like you. She, whoever her daddy is, that's who she look like. <laughs> she look like them people. <laughs> She looked like her people. Look like her daddy I'm, like, I'm letting my son's girlfriends know at the at the very we beginning want a test. that I love you, baby. But uh, it's not personal. It's not personal it's because not. you just you don't know. I don't want to be. Shit. I don't want to be the 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 dad grandma to where like I'm not really involved. I'm gonna love my grandbabies regardless. The dad grandma just, is a real thing. Yeah, she is. No, it really is. And it's I don't want to be like that. So if I'm gonna be completely all the way in, we I need, need to, to know. know, and you need to know, and just so that you don't have anything, you know. Anything yeah. in the back of your head, like damn, I did kind of could, I did kind of slip out. Cause sometimes we do, like you do. So, and and I think too, <clears throat> the women need to oh, know how to God. handle certain. Yeah. You need to learn how, how to handle people and how not to handle people. Cause you ain't gonna talk shit about me. No, and then no. expect me to go out of my way and for somebody. No. Cause that's what I'm gonna tell you real quick, bitch. Fuck you and that baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. The end. <clears throat> I don't care. You ain't gonna call me a sack of bitches talking about what somebody don't do. Yeah. Cause guess bitch, I can fuck show you, you and that baby. baby. Yeah. Mm. And I mean it. Yeah. From the pit of my soul. I, I see. And then don't and don't involve the family when y'all are in an <laughs> yeah. argument, right? Like yeah, when, why you're would you bring argument, me up? when you're in an argument. If you got an issue with me, don't my mama and my sisters don't have anything to do with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like don't have anything to do with it they don't hate me because if you, they break up we go on the court we're and yeah. the, but and you we're have to our, we're getting why, our visitation why let somebody dictate or run how regardless. you see your kid if this is your kid i told my brother if you feel like that's your kid well, you sign a birth certificate you have take her to court right she's trying to keep my baby from me go to court i don't want to hear no crying you. no none of that shit if you want certain things, take a motherfucker to take, court. Take them, them to, to court. court because you have the same right. And they gonna base the- it off of your income if you scared of child support. They gonna base it off of your income mm-hmm. anyway. If you don't make a whole lot, you probably gonna be paying like twelve dollars. <laughs> <laughs> she said twelve is a lot. <laughs> you could get three dollars and thirty seven cents. I mean, it could be. Oh. Is that per? No, nigga, that's one <laughs> one dollar. They have learned to be sending me text notifications about that little. Uh, what? What? Then they changed it to it used to be weekly. Now it's every two weeks. So I'm like, oh, okay, it's gonna look twenty six dollars. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, one time I got like a hundred dollars, and I was like, oh, maybe they we gonna get an increase. So the next week, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get a hundred dollars next week. Girl, it was fourteen dollars. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's it's bullshit. Yeah, it is. It's yeah, bullshit. I don't like to hear that. Like, that if you really want to be in your baby's life, you can be in your baby's life. Especially, you ain't got no job. There are some people that are hell. Like she will call. She will call him if if she trying to go somewhere. Oh, can you? Your daughter wants to see you. But on the phone, okay. on FaceTime. Or can you keep her? And he be he'll gladly if he gotta yeah. catch the bus, catch yeah, a ride. Yeah. He yeah. loves that little girl, but she dangles her in front of him. She, My baby don't need well, bitch. Look, so I'm gonna have to. I don't want to hear about it no more. Let me tell you what the bitch did. Don't want to hear it. Yeah. Get off my phone. We can talk about anything else. Don't want to hear it because you already know what I'm gonna tell you. Go First of all, you need a test. The end. Second of all, go to court. I don't want to hear because all the shit that you're talking about, you can prevent it. I don't know no nigga that is that willingly wants to go through shit like this. Just say they got a baby mama. That shit is weird to me. 
Mm-hmm. That is fucking weird. Super stupid. It's weird. Y'all right. don't go get my kid. I'm not gonna argue with nobody about they kid. When to get them, how to get them, and you ain't gonna put no stipulations on them with me. Yeah. yeah. You 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 can't get my kid if they're gonna or they need to be back. Girl, mm-mm, keep your kid. I'm gonna yeah. go pick up I'm these other ones because I got some other nieces and nephews. Yeah. I can go get any of the fuck time I want and to and thing, take them right back the stipulations. home. Stipulations like you don't get to have it both ways. You say. Uh, my family, your family's not involved, but when they try to be involved, you want it to be involved your way. Yeah. Like, That's get like, it's it's either or. You can't have both. You can't have both. Don't, I'm going to bring the baby back dirty and full of energy and sugar on purpose just because <laughs> I know this is going to piss you off. Don't tell me all the stuff that I can't do. I'm not going to ever disrespect you, but this little baby going to be filthy and full of ice cream, sugar, everything when they Look, come don't home. Don't come pick them up because they're getting a sugar daddy. You know how the sugar daddy be dripping no. all down their chin. Sticky. <laughs> yeah, she would be like, you can't get her because you at like, you know, some of this girl house. Or, you can't he do like, that. I don't tell you what. He's like, you don't have my kid around. All these different mm-hmm. niggas. I don't say yeah. shit to you. Like, don't do not do that. Like, you being weird. Like, I don't like that kind of shit. Girl, fuck you and that baby. Mm. Bitches, stop Blue. acting crazy with these kids and these men. That is not a good look. No, that is not. not a good look. And then cry on social media about it. Mm-hmm. Anywho, ma'am, we'll yeah, be uh, we got a lot of stuff, a lot of fun stuffs. Okay, um, I seen something, um, and so I wanted you guys' opinion on this. Okay. Do you feel like you have to leave your hometown to find true happiness and or success? No, no. Mm-mm. I don't okay. think so. Um, coming from somebody that has actually moved away from home, um, I think that the happiness is always going to be an internal thing. So mm-hmm. no matter you know, you can move yourself out of there and go to a, a you know new environment, surroundings, and things like that. But if you're un- if you're truly unhappy, you're going to be unhappy no matter where you go. Yep. yep. That's like putting a band aid over a bullet wound. You know, right? Like you can't. I mean, it, it might be good to, to experience something different, um, but as far as, like, moving specifically so that you can find happiness, no, that's not. Yeah, I, I think this, this trend, um, and I only speak for Vegas because this is where I am, um, but it's always like, oh, you know, I'm moving, Vegas ain't got nothing to offer, if you... um. If you really want to do something with yourself, you got to get out of here. And it's like, no. um, no. Like, I can see if you wanted to, like, carve, like, ice sculptures or something. I don't think that <laughs> Vegas is, like, a place for that. So you might want to go to, like, Alaska or somewhere like that. You know what, what I'm saying? Fuck? No, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> yeah. like, something like that. Yeah, but, like, yeah. you're trying to start, like, a little boutique. You can start a boutique any fucking where. You want to Absolutely. do real estate. You can do real estate any fucking yeah. where. You want to... I don't know, fucking um, open a restaurant. You can open a restaurant yeah. anywhere. I don't, you want to do music. You can do music anywhere. Yeah. You know, now you some, have to have the right you, mind. You can find better avenues, like when it comes to music, like, okay, yes. I see that. But in, most of the in, time, people are telling you to move because they done fucked up their whole little area, and that's why they feel like, oh, I need to go. You're going to attract that same energy that's, every yeah. Yeah. And it's like you go. Because that's who you are. And it's like you have a lot of problems where you are because... Oh, you're you, the problem. Yeah, you're, you're the, the problem. problem. You got 17 baby daddies. So you got... You, you know, you got a starter. You're, you're yeah. You <laughs> or are you are the hot. lowest he, common denominator in all of your own is, fucking this problems. Is you. So you're going to move from here to Tennessee and you're still going to get somebody because out in Memphis that beat your ass just like the man out here in Vegas because you are the problem. You got to fix you. Yeah, And the area code ain't going to do that. I think that people try to to run from themselves to other states like and that's the thing you still got to take yourself with you i do think that you have yeah. to <laughs> Ooh, i do shit. think that you that's have to um escape your own i you think you have to step outside of your comfortability in order to be better in order to have and that doesn't necessarily mean a hometown it doesn't mean family uh-huh. a lot of times your comfort is yourself mm-hmm. like the shit that you've done that has kept you in that same place of things that you're comfortable with doing, the person that you're comfortable with being. I think you got to step outside of that Mm -hmm. to be your greater self or to be successful or to be happy. But that does not necessarily mean you pick up somewhere else. A lot of times people are not going to tell you, but when they leave, they end up in more shit than what they left from because you've walked into a place that you don't know. Mm -hmm. You don't know. And you, the only person you're stuck with, again, 
is yourself and all of the baggage that you done carried out here to this new state. And you still say right. that because you ain't heal yourself. You're first. not. And new, I was going to say and, you haven't even you haven't begin yourself. to work on And self. new people don't know you. So the, the little, the friends that you did have, the family that did deal with you before you left, they owed you, they felt like they owed you a sense of loyalty. They loved you. So they dealt with your shit. Mm -hmm. These new people in these new states don't know you. They don't give a fuck. Now you out here with nobody. How many people you know within six, seven months come back home? A lot. Yeah. Because your plan was not to be better. Your plan was to escape. Right. You spent all this money, moved all this shit around just to escape, and you took the person that you was escaping from right along with you. Job. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like, yeah, if it's a job, a career, or say, for instance, you have met someone that yeah. you want to move with, I, I get that. You know what I'm saying? Or you just, you cool, but you know what? I, I don't, I'm I a bird. Something I need, different. I need to see something yeah. different. But when people say that I, I have to find myself i know that the new me lives in tallahassee i just know it all i need a southern man i have to go down there because i need me a southern man yeah, that, that shit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that that irritates it me. bothers me because, because you're, men, still you're gonna going attract to. the same fucking type of man it doesn't that matter you anywhere it niggas does is niggas not is matter niggas. niggas gonna cheat up here they're gonna cheat down there niggas gonna be gay over here they're gonna be gay over there or you're gonna get you attract sometimes they are gay or other places so, sometimes God, but i think you attract the you attract the love of a person that it is is what it is it's you it. yourself it's and you. maybe you'll attract a higher caliber of person yeah. or you can it just it, it it really grinds my gears. You be like, it be a motherfucker like you've been there seventeen days and you talking about something. Girl. If you want if y'all need to get the fuck out of Vegas, ain't nothing in Vegas. No, um, you, you Oh okay. I don't know about you, but my kid is here and everything that I know <laughs> is here. Like I gotta go to work. I, I'm, my I'm, job. I'm, I'm like, home here. Yeah. Like my home that I own like, that I live in. I'm, I'm actually that I doing all right. You know? <laughs> like, I'm fine. And when I, I wanna know. go see like you know, of course, when you're born and raised somewhere, you're yeah, like, yeah. damn, like, if you getting born. But there is no place like Vegas no for me. Like I go that. and visit other places, and I, I really enjoy myself. Home. But after a few days, I be like, all right, I'm ready to go home. Yeah. Like, I don't give a fuck how much it be getting on my nerves here. When I see them fucking lights, I get excited. Yeah, yeah. Like, this and is home I've moved me. away a couple times, and every time I'm just like, you know what? It's I'm going back home. Because yeah. yeah. I, I like to eat in the middle of the night. First and foremost, and shit be closing. No, we're that not doing that. My goddamn nerves. You go to the gas station; they got chains on the liquor. Like, girl, wait, girl, don't let it be. Like, I can't even get a fuck. Like, I can't even get a fuck. I can't even get a mic's hard. Oh no, this is not gonna work, y'all. I had this to drive home. outside of a big ass city in the Pacific Northwest. By the way, a huge, huge city. They don't have a fucking Walmart in the city limits. You have to drive to a. No yeah, no. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even like Walmart, but I like the ability to go to Walmart if yeah. I needed to go to Walmart. Yeah. I think it's it's just a, a bit ridiculous, you know, when you, when you say, like, oh, you got to move away in order to find yourself and all that stuff. Because, honestly, if, if I would not have been in a relationship and didn't want to mm -hmm. do a long-distance relationship, I would still be in San Diego. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I love San, San Diego. San a dope city. So, I and mean, I it's expensive home. and all that, but I that absolutely... Home. It's, it's homes. And this is home for me now, yeah. too. Like, I love Vegas for different reasons, too. So, you know, you can't... It, it's always the ones that are usually just negative to begin with that right. they, you have created you you've know. created this whole terrible atmosphere and then as soon as you leave you can't wait to tell everybody oh I'm from Vegas or oh I'm from San Diego like you hated it we don't do this in while Vegas. you was there oh but you ain't back where I'm from we ain't got this in Vegas like uh. if you don't shit like honestly y'all know even yes. though I love my hometown I never I have never been the type to be like back back in San Diego they do. Yeah. Or this that you know they do this in California. No, because I'm out here and I I enjoy, enjoy being the here. The culture that's here. I enjoy the culture here and I enjoy the city. I love the city. Like this mm -hmm. this is my home now. Yeah. But in the same breath, like I've never said anything bad about San Diego because I absolutely love right. it there too. So yeah. it's usually just the person. Like girl, because yeah. I I bet you wherever you are in Denver, somebody in Denver is like. I can't wait to get up out of fucking Denver. I'm gonna move to <laughs> Vegas. It's the same shit. Like mm -hmm. the fuck. And your back's still gonna be big. Your head's still gonna be wide. Jesus like the Rottweiler. Christ. Like you're still gonna be. Yeah. You, some of these motherfuckers look like 17 <laughs> weeks old, pregnant and shit. Like you still gonna you look still like that. Like, they might appreciate a big back more. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Uh, what? No, I'm telling you, like it's it's literally all down my timeline. I have like maybe like six or seven people who've moved, hey, and it has been 
disappeared. Ridic- I don't know why you're talking about it. It's this. been <laughs> ridiculous. Y'all got to get out of Vegas and every other fucking post is about where they at. I don't give a fuck about the rain. I don't give a fuck about a tornado. I don't give a fuck about a hurricane. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit y'all dealing with. Because everybody is is, is, is on the south. Like, deal with all that shit. I ain't got to deal with nothing but a fucking aftershock. And honestly, it'd be some... It's weird. I'm never willingly moving to the South because I know all of the weather yes. conditions. I know every year at the end of August, like it's gonna be fucked up. It's some hurricanes yeah. coming through there. I know it's I coming. Can't Why would shit I like put that. myself there? I'm not. I'm not doing and that. And the first I like, time I, like the, the, first time I, like the I gotta go racism of the West Coast. Like I like the diet oh, racism that we deal with in <laughs> yeah, instead racism. of oh, yeah. the, <laughs> the hardcore. The hard I don't want to nigger. I don't want to do yeah. that. I'd rather you be like, oh, I bet you voted for. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me the diet, the light. You, you want know. the Kroger? Yeah. Okay, I got give, you. Give me a, a regular racism. I don't want that real. <laughs> and I, I'm okay with. I know what kind of bugs is gonna come mm-hmm. and what move. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not okay with waking up. To know cicadas out of nowhere. I, it, I don't know that we got. It's a snake in but my toilet. Not that, I'm they're not, not as bad as out there. I don't know because or bugs the size of my fucking hand. My hands. Them oh. roaches in Florida that be flying from the trees and pimento. Pl- no, what? um, a, uh, oh, I don't want to have nothing to do with that. Somebody posted a um, somebody posted a fucking oh, oh my home girl, a, uh, uh, Marjorie. Yeah, that Marjorie big posted. Ass. I, I was like, what the fuck is that? So Marjorie posted. She's in uh, uh, Atlanta. She posted a, was it a what? wasp or was it a dragonfly? It was something. I don't know what the fuck it when, was, it, but it looked. When looks, she killed it, it looked like a, an airplane, like a, you know, like one of them airplanes that you make for your kids with yeah. the, you know, the, I know um, with the remote about. controls. It looked like a remote control airplane, like the wings were broken. It looked like it was plastic, like a fucking robot. Oh, it could have been a robot though, but that's a, that's another conspiracy no, it, it theory. Was a bug. You can see when I can see <laughs> all the features. When I can see all of the features in the bug space, because it's that big, <laughs> nigga, it's hard for me to go. Right. Mm-mm. You can have this house. I'm 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 moving. Waking up, looking up, and not the bug, the spider looking at me because it's as big as me. No, nigga, you can have this. I don't know. I we just yeah. we got a real cushy. Like uh, yeah, in Texas they don't have state taxes, but I just couldn't imagine going somewhere and then like looking at my check and there's more taxes oh, taken that, out. That shit is real. What? Yeah. When no, I first moved out, out here, here, I was like, Oh, this check looks <laughs> good. Of course, I took a pay cut. Yes. you know, coming out here. But when I saw that they didn't take uh, state taxes, I was like, Oh, sh- I, could, I don't want to go nowhere. And this we don't stay in here. Mm-hmm. No, 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 I'm not. Going. Me either. And I like to eat. I had to bring that back up. I like to eat in yeah. the middle. I want a steak. If I want a real steak at night, yeah, you can go and get it. That I can go and get. If yeah. I want to go to the bar, the bar is open 24 hours. Yeah. If I want to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and go get some chicken wing, I just want to do that. I also want to be able to drive from one point of town to the other side of town in 30, 45 minutes. Without paying yeah. for parking. Without paying. Parking. I don't want to look for parking. I'm not paying for parking. I'm not working at your hospital and having to pay the hospital to park in the parking garage. Every Fuck fucking where you. you go. I'm like, mm-hmm. and that shit be foreign. It's like, this motherfucking parking lot got 17 spaces. You finna charge me $25 to park right here. Uh-huh. And and the club might not even be fucking open or or it's probably over capacity. And I now I gotta tell you to get my motherfucking so, money back because you already knew they wouldn't let nobody else in. Here. Can't we did that in Texas. Parks. I, I was like, this, um, so. you already knew that it, it wasn't. I want my money back. And they gave they they tried to pitch a fit like you knew that the club was at capacity when we pulled up in here. You asked for twenty dollars for us to park. We parked, and they gonna say I don't even remember seeing you. We been here for I say yes, it is that boy right there. Give my goddamn twenty dollars <laughs> back. For seven <laughs> twenty dollars to park. Yeah, girl. In the parking lot that was this. Yeah, and they didn't even own the parking lot. Y'all just no. out here. You gonna put a sign out there. here? Mm-mm. And that's, that's a dig at hospital. like anybody that's excited about moving because of course absolutely <laughs> please yeah put that you on. are <laughs> supposed to be excited but don't be nasty when you leave like don't try to make everybody else feel like oh, oh you I don't want nothing shit. for yourself y'all just that's staying in Vegas that you have to do for yourself okay. like that's still for working you in a specific a girl if you don't get out my fucking yes. face I just know for a fact that my husband is out here because he was not he wasn't in Vegas yet because you didn't ran through all I the was niggas just gonna say you done ran through these motherfuckers like. You ain't no no man man love. Love. He ain't got no choice but to be somewhere else because he you done had all of these. Don't none of these niggas want you. Hmm. And it, 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 it still goes. Back but down I think to a lot of times too, when they go, when they vi- like a lot of places that they they move, they visit that place a lot, right? So it's them. like the niggas show them attention, you and it's like, home. well, you knew because you don't went to this club. These niggas here every fucking weekend. Yeah. They know new faces when they see it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh, you like the attention. These niggas is trash. The same way 
but if you'll find you'll find a man once you get out of your own circle and out of your own environment wherever you are you yeah. know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like you can't expect to say oh you like you know niggas in vegas but you at crown or mm -hmm. that ain't even open no more but you know you at the same club every fu every fucking weekend you don't see the same niggas you don't see the same motherfuckers you're in the same circles mm. you're not you're you're not these niggas be for everybody different. bitch i think you and need to go to henderson or something <laughs> or in summerlin and summerlin. visit a casino or visit a club or like a little lounge well, over there it comes, you're not gonna find your husband on the west side it comes from yourself too about, because the caliber of man is gonna want a certain caliber, caliber of woman, woman. Yes. so if you are some people will go into henderson and stick out like a thor a sore, a sore mm -hmm. thumb mm -hmm. but if you move yourself from vegas from the west side of vegas and you go to uh, miami and you still go to the hood them the same fucking niggas or how about you stop trying to find club niggas or find good niggas in the club. Not saying, niggas, not saying that there are not good dudes who go hang out. But if you're in the club every week, like I'm in the club every week, we here for the same shit. Mm -hmm. And it ain't each other. You ain't gotta say too much from the look in your eyes. I could tell you wanna <laughs> fuck. And you ain't gotta call me a boo. Just as bad as you wanna fuck. I wanna fuck too. Now, 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 <laughs> the random, the random. So, this kind of actually ties into this, it's right? With, really with well. these men, yeah, I, I like the way this flows. So, do you think that men um, take the time to heal, or do women take it upon themselves to try to heal the man? The second one, because you know, men have to be in a, in a good space in order to be ready to date a woman or get ready to take it to the next level. So, like when men, when they, you know, they. Cause men be fucked up after they do, breakups. They, they be yeah. fucked up. I, so I seen this on Facebook. That's where it came from. Okay. I seen it on Facebook, and um, it was basically this long. It came from Twitter. It was reshared a bunch of times, and it was basically saying something about um, men needing to take the time to heal from bad relationships instead of jumping into another one, and now you're ruining another person because you didn't take the time to heal. So women most of the times are nurturing in nature let me show you how you're supposed to be properly loved or let me heal you from or try to heal you or try to show you something different um differently than what you just came from and unfortunately they end up being hurt themselves because you can't heal somebody who is not taking the time to do it themselves right well i don't think that i i agree with what you're saying but what i'm i don't think that women know that we're having to heal the men until you're you're into it because what happens is men say this all the time they get into a woman you're gonna be lonely you're gonna be by yourself well we are okay with being lonely like right. we're okay mm -hmm. with being alone yeah. and that's that's not a dig to us because oh he don't want me okay i'll be alone i'll be single men are not used to oh, being yeah. alone they are and on the flip side and so they jump into right another into relationship room. where you don't know your healing past trauma from him because he's afraid of being alone on the flip side of that, the other piece to that um, to that post was women, when they leave a relationship, they take the time to heal yeah. before they go and date other people. Men don't. They'll be in a relationship with somebody else within That's the yeah. next month or two or within the next couple of months. With other we can also come. I think that women are, they say, men say it. I think that uh, women are, e we're able to com compartmentalize sex as well. Yes. So even being single, when they're thinking you're lonely, you might have your physical needs met, but you're not in it. A relationship men say that oh well, i'm just fucking no you love her now yeah because mm -hmm. you you're showing that it's mine it's a possess it's, it's a possessive once yeah. you once that sex is involved they i don't know if they can always turn it off they can turn off the the title piece like yeah, i they don't want to i don't want to claim you i don't want you to claim me but i still want to have this access to you without you having they even gave i want the all they the call i want it sneaky you gave a you sneaky name. that's your girlfriend like yeah i <laughs> yeah that's that, your girlfriend yeah that it's like they want often. all i think well men are just possessive by yes, nature yes, you know what i'm saying it's like once i give myself to you right you think it's yours you think it's yours so even though you like we single we could do whatever mm -hmm. but i don't want you talking to nobody else you i don't want you fucking do with nobody else you knew you was my you know girl I mean? yeah like no, I didn't. you know i'll fuck with you oh you so you talking to that one nigga no, like no, you knew uh, we was together. you said Sorry. we were single we was just mm -hmm. kicking it yeah well what, you know what i'm saying you cooking this nigga lunch or you know y'all going out on dates you're doing everything a couple does 
but you single? Like, how does that work? Yeah. You you know what I'm saying? You could be staying with the nigga. He could be staying with you. Like, nigga, that's your girlfriend. I think the other thing with this is that I don't know if men always recognize the need to heal. I think that for a lot of them, they feel like it didn't impact them right. as much. They feel like, so I was with this woman and she cheated on me. She had a baby with somebody else. It's God. cool. I, I, I left her. I'm past it. But then they go into the new relationship and you're controlling the woman. You're going through her phone. You're trying to dictate who she talks to and who she doesn't because what you didn't realize is now that you have trust issues based off of the relationship that you week. came from. You felt like that you were able to move on from it, but you weren't. You needed to heal from you need to heal from that. Yeah. That traumatized you. That hurt you. You're carrying this now into your new relationship and you act like you don't understand why. Mm -hmm. Until you get into an argument and you say, oh, you acting like my old bitch or you acting just like that bitch or this reminds me of. I think a lot of men don't realize um, that they are, that they're hurt. And I think that a lot of men um, look at placeholders mm -hmm. um, instead of like. Men get caught in the routine more than women do. Like, I'm used to having somebody cook for me. I'm used to having somebody do my laundry. I'm used to having somebody um, put this schedule together for me. I'm used to that. I may not even care for this woman the same way, but I need somebody to maintain this schedule that I have. So mm -hmm. I can deal with you. I can tolerate you. I can do all. I can, I can fuck you. We could go on dates. We could do all that because my real need is being met. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I haven't even, I haven't dealt with the fact that, you know what I'm saying? The, this past relationship is over. All I worried about was my needs getting met. Right. And that's why we got to stop giving so much so soon. But I, I, I think that, um, I think that we all kind of, I don't think that when you first get into relationships, a lot of us still hold on to baggage, both Absolutely. men and women. Absolutely. So, like, I think we're better at um, acting like we're healed. Like, okay, I'm over it. I'm past it. But you're still making subliminal posts mm -hmm. about your ex. Like, you're still talking about things that he did to you. And you are still carrying on that emotional trauma from your previous relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, it's easier for us to be like, oh, you know, I'm over it. I'm, I'm, I'm healed. But healing is not, it's a, it's a long process, you know, it, and it's ugly. It's not, it's actually facing all of the things that truly has happened to you and saying, okay, this happened to me, but I'm not going to be a victim to it. I'm going right. to let it go. And now I'm moving past it. Yeah. We don't do that too often. We all like kind of bottle it up or try to try to, you know, push, push forward and just get past it. Like, okay, well that's done. It's over, but you never really faced what happened for myself i know that one of the ugly things about not healing properly is is that um trying to heal from what the person did to you instead of what attracted you to the person mm -hmm. like i you you heal try to heal from the superficial wounds mm -hmm. instead of like what uh, what is allowing me or what is it about me that keeps attracting the same person? Oh, but right, then that's right, when yeah. you have to you have to get yeah, real the, with yourself that's, and, and, that's what I'm saying, that's and be honest piece. with yourself because a lot of it is on you. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. The majority of it, yeah, is it's, on it's you. because of you. It's yeah, yeah. it's some shit that you got to deal with with yourself, mm -hmm. and that's when it becomes scary because it's like it's just you it's not you. everybody else's fault. This is it, this part is your fault, and yeah, you yeah. have to you have mm -hmm. to take uh, accountability. Because yes. if you don't, you're gonna you may say. Oh, you know what? I'm past what he did to me. And then you're going to end up in a relationship with somebody just either the same or worse because the pieces of yourself, whatever issues you have, whatever issues you have going on, whatever needs to be healed within you, mm -hmm. not what somebody did to you. That shit is superficial. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's surface level. If you don't deal with what's going on internally, you're going to end up with the same type of person or somebody worse or going back in circles and person. cycles to the same person because... You didn't you didn't step outside of what what attracted you to them or right. what attracted them to you. Yeah. You know when people are like, why do I keep tra attracting the same person? It's you. It's you. Yeah. It's yeah. you. And then a lot of times as as women, like we um we tend to we're fixers. So we want to yeah. fix. Them like we want us. to fix them and then we're still fucked up on the inside. It's like, okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to fix you. I'm trying to uh you know, I show you that I'm different from everybody else that you dealt with and you know it's like you said it's all superficial it's all on the you know on the on the surface and at the end of the day a lot of times it's just be it's two broken people 
trying to just move past mm-hmm. and create something new and not actually facing everything. I think though, once you once you really sit down and have that talk with yourself, and when you're truly on the healing process, because I don't think anybody is ever gonna be completely healed. You're no. always gonna be dealing with something. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, Damn, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> You're always going to be dealing with something, but it's like, I can help you. You know what I'm saying? Because in a, in a relationship, it's okay to help somebody. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's okay for you to help fix them, but I'm not going to um, lose myself and at the risk of helping you, you fix yeah. you yeah. because yeah. that's some shit you're going to need to work on by yourself. But I think like it really takes you a minute to get to that point to say, I'm never going to lose myself again. Yeah. Cause it is hard getting that person back. It is, and it's a very, it's an ugly space. Like it really, it's takes real you, ugly. It takes you to get to like a place where you're like, I'm losing my fucking mind. Mm-hmm. Like you, unfortunately, you, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you lose. You get to the point where there's nothing else that you can lose, and you're like, I, I can't do this. It's not mm-hmm. even a question. It's not a debate. It's not anything. Mm-hmm. Like I just can't do this. I don't have a reason. I don't have an explanation. Um, you know. Everybody always says, only you know when you're tired. And one day you just, it don't even have to be a day. You could be in the middle of your day. You just have a moment like, you know what? This is just, it's either you or me. I don't have anything else to lose behind you. Like, yeah. I think it's just important for us to know as, like, as humans to take responsibility for your own trauma. Yes. Like you have to take your, I, I, there's no way that I can fix another person when I still got shit that I need to take care of mm-hmm. with myself you know like I tend to think like how arrogant do you have to be to think that you can go and heal somebody else's wounds yeah. it's very how selfish. arrogant it's so selfish because yeah. ultimately that's not for them that's for you that's a satisfaction for you for you so that you can be more comfortable it's very selfish Mm-mm. hurting yourself I, I know that sounds crazy but hurting, it's selfish to stay in a relationship where you know that you know what I'm saying? Either you're not happy or the other person's not happy. You, it's, it's selfish, especially if you can see, if you can recognize it. Like, that's selfish as fuck because it's not, it ain't for nobody but you. Right. That's for you. I like that. So, and this kind of goes into this thing. So, I think that everybody here made very, very great points, right? Um, so, why do you think it's so easy to give great advice to others without being able to take it for yourself? Like, we're able to sit here and say, okay, you know, you got to do this, you got to heal. But then it's like, damn, sometimes we didn't even take the, the time to heal. Or, mm-hmm. you know, why do you allow them to do this to you? Or why do you allow this? Or how you... But then you got this motherfucker over here, you know, being either verbally abusive or emotionally abusive. You know what I'm saying? Just because mine doesn't look like yours. You know what I'm saying? Like, you mm-hmm. can give me the advice, but you can't take it for yourself. It's, like, um, I think it's discipline. I think with every situation, like, it's easier to tell somebody, like, we all know how to lose weight. Mm -hmm. We all know how to say, okay, well, you know, you can, all you have to do is do this, this, and that. But if you don't, if you lack discipline, you are going to stay in whatever situation it is just to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. That, I think that that can be applied to anything in life. I think words and actions are, it's it's a big difference. Like, me giving you advice is all words. In order to take the advice from myself, it requires mm-hmm. action. You got to actually do yeah. it. I have to actually do it. It's you. I can pep talk myself up all the time. I can be like, you know, you need to do this. You know, this isn't right. It is the acting part on it. Like, can I actually do it? Should I actually do it? What does it look like if I don't do it? I can give you advice all day long. It's going to sound so good. Sometimes I talk to myself through your the advice that I give you. But I don't have to lay in once you make the decision or if you make the decision based off of what I'm telling you, I don't got to lay in an empty bed with you. I don't have to actually feel what's on the other side of the advice that's being given Mm -hmm. to myself. I know what it could potentially feel like if I take my own advice. I don't know what that feels like for you. I, I don't have to live it. You don't have to live somebody's life after you give them advice. You don't have to go. You don't have to live that with them. You don't have to feel it. You don't have any. You don't have to do any of that once you give them the advice. And I think a lot of it is denial because you're going to give advice. My situation ain't like that, though. Mine's different. So right. I, I'm going to tell you this because that, you know, because that's what you're going through. But mine is different. Like he he hit me because he loved me. I haven't heard that too many times. Mm. But it, that's the thing. Like, we all, it's introspection, too. Like, you never want to say. I just be, like, walking into the bushes. <laughs> I do be kind of, you know, I making be egging get him mad. Him on, you, know, you know how smart my mouth is. You know how I get. You know what I'm saying? But your situation is different. So I'm going to tell you what. Because we don't want to think that we have anything to fix. 
Yeah. That's that's inter- That's the part. Like, oh, she's coming to me for advice because she trusts that I have everything together. Mm-hmm. Now I'm coming to you for advice because you've gone through the same shit, my nigga. <laughs> like, like yeah. that's why I'm coming to you. But we are in denial. Did y'all see the that. post the other day where it was like, um, where you can give? How is it that you can give advice to somebody when you hurting yourself or something like that? Mm-mm. Sometimes is that is you telling yourself. Mm-hmm. You're selfish. Yeah, that's you telling yourself what to do. But I'm gonna just put yeah, it. Hell yeah. I'm gonna see if it worked for you, and then maybe <laughs> I'm gonna try later. <laughs> I might can try. I might I'll can probably try. try. I'm gonna try it later. You gonna but do, you do the it test first? Run. You do it first. <laughs> Let me see how bad you hurt tomorrow. Then then I'm gonna do it. But if you alright tomorrow, then I can do it. But yeah, I think those conversations though are things that we've had with ourselves yeah. internally. Um. It's just easier to say it out loud mm-hmm. to somebody else. To someone else. So giving direction versus taking the action. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I better stop talking about people getting beat on. Ain't nobody in this room getting beat on, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think. <laughs> no, like, ma'am. Oh, I got some bruises. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I might. I don't know. He choked me a little bit sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I'll be kidding. liking it too. <laughs> one neck. One, one, <laughs> one, 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 one neck. <laughs> One neck. 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 What we got? Okay, I was looking for some me- some messy media for us today. Are you um, J-Lo back with Ben Affleck? Yes. I love it. Girl. Yeah. I don't yes. know. Yes. I don't know. So I, um... It's, I, don't, I don't know like she she just uh, you ain't even she didn't give herself time to heal like you went from one it's this engagement her to, at this point yeah it's yeah. i'm uh, it's, it's gotta it's be her she don't want to buy herself yeah but you and i i just hate like because you know ben got the little drinking problem and shit so he was mm. going to rehab and stuff he um, looks so much better now he does look better now so i think he he's doing great like but i just be like Bitch, you gonna go lay the pussy on them? Then you ain't you gonna jump to the next nigga that got some money too because you just doing whatever you want to do I think she right now for a little while with this one. Cause she was just with a ride again like for two weeks, right? Yeah. And then she went back. Yeah. Like, I don't know. She just need to get her a little black dude like Holly and stay in the back and be happy and. No, you know, stay away a, from our men, J Lo. She has <laughs> no. She has that, that <laughs> image that she has to keep up. So I, she definitely wouldn't be with a black dude. Um. Cause the one that she was with had her I mean, caught up in a court case and shit. She, she was, was about like, to go never to jail. again. <laughs> I think, and to be honest, I think that that's probably genuinely where she may have wanted to be. Because they were oh, engaged. Yeah, they were, oh, they yeah. were. I think that's probably where her heart was. However, my feelings are not bigger than my image, and you can't take me down. Like she's that. too old for him anyway. For who? Did he? Absolutely. Yeah, but I'm saying at that time. Oh, at I mean, this point, yeah. yeah no. But at that time, he wouldn't have stayed with her long. He, at that time, I feel like that's where she really, really, really wanted to be. Mm-hmm. But I can't, I can't let you take me. Yeah, and her publicist, like, I'm sure all the people around her is like, get the fuck from around her, because you know yeah. that's where I that when he they she was with them when Sean yeah. caught the case. Yeah. You know, all the shooting shit. It was like, oh no, we need to separate ourselves from this. You know, she went from didn't she the bling she did a out. whole rebranding mm-hmm. like yeah the, the she music, went music yeah yes. it went from hip hop to pop to Jenny on the block yeah. to pure Latin, Latin music. Mm-hmm. She's singing she in Spanish. Took a bandana off. Yes, <laughs> and she was <laughs> down the fuck out of to Mark Mark Anthony. Yeah, we was like, what? It was like, oh no, we have to completely to. do an overhaul. It was a whole she had to. She had to. Yes. I felt I, the reason why I say I'm here for it is because mm-hmm. I know you can't speculate what goes on behind closed doors. I feel like from what you've seen in the um even like the the interviews that she used to do when she was with him, it seemed like he was the one who genuinely cared the most. Yeah, he can, but I don't think she feels that way. Like I don't she, think she's about anybody. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I think it's it's difficult for the men because I be feeling like they be all in it. I don't think I didn't think that her and A Rod was going to be a he's thing a anyway. He's yeah. to be a bigger demon than she, her. She I was gonna say they both hoes though. He's so a bigger demon than her. You, I think she's used to men like genuinely being in love with her, and she's just doing it for this is what feels good to me for right now mm-hmm. until I'm tired. You know I, what I'm saying? I, yeah. And I think she knew, you know, That's Ben's true feelings for her. Yeah. So it's like, let me just go back here because, like you said, I don't want to be by myself. Listen, and his marriage looked 
he looks uncomfortable the yeah. whole marriage. This this is not Garner. Garner. Oh, he was married. Okay. He didn't. He seemed uncomfortable. It like aged him a little bit. You know what I mean? Like you would see him. He's like. Cause she looks like that. Cause I think sometimes people be, just he, get with people. Just you know, it feel good for right now, so you just do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I I really I think he babies, was he I was would. in love with her. You know, a lot of times people try to keep it together, especially like the celebrities for the kids, yeah. and then mm-hmm. and and then after it's not for the kids, let's put on this front for the world, and we can come back to this house, and you go on your side, and I go on my side. You know what I'm saying? But, but when we get in front of these cameras, but yeah, and then if if it, some people be like, you know what, this ain't gonna fucking work. Fuck the yeah. fuck these people because they don't know us and it may have led him to have the drink, to drink like, yeah. i gotta cope with this somehow now i'm spiraling when i start spiraling and the media gets a hold of it and this tanks my livelihood and everything now i gotta go right. fuck them kids yeah i am um, i just I, I don't see it lasting um of course you don't want to just wish no bad luck on nobody but i don't think she gonna be the gonna... one at the uh she gonna have a bitch obituary with a special friend on it mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't even think she's gonna have a special friend. Gonna, at the, her obituary is not gonna have anybody else in it, not even her children. Just her. It's going to be all over. <laughs> <laughs> gonna like this and in this beautiful life of Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> mm. Yeah, no. So we'll see how that goes. Um, when they break up, I'll let y'all know. <laughs> Stay tuned. Where were they, Benifer? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Benifer. Benifer's back. <laughs> well, yeah. Remember his he wife was, was, was Jennifer too. Jennifer so. Jennifer Mm. She lived her best life too. She is. I hate her ears. I hate her that, lips. That something about her face. Just it's her lips. Do the uh, Garnier commercials when she like she like purses her lips together. I don't know. It's just mm-hmm. she's a little weird looking. Mm-hmm. They daughter is too. Mm. Jesus Christ. A lot of celebrity kids be funny looking. Yeah. Just a lot of kids are funny looking. Yeah, in general, and then people be talking about other people's kids, be like, "Sir, have you looked in the mirror?" <laughs> Baby, and then they be giving them fucked up names. So you funny looking, and your name fucked up, and your name Apple. Your name is Apple. Apple. <laughs> name that baby dad. <laughs> why did they name the baby Apple? Apple. Like why? Apple. They be naming these babies some fucked up ass names. It's some more. I can't think of them right now. Maybe we'll put they all had kids. It up. was like a group of kids that were all born at the same time. All of them had some fucked up names. I think they maybe do a race to see who can who name the, the kids. Craziest yeah. name. They just like put letters together. Oh, this spells something. This, this is, is what they're going to be. I was going to say like that road going <laughs> to California. Like, how do you even say this shit? What, physics? Yeah. You just put some letters together. I did see some pictures from somebody Sorry, that went there. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was like kind of cool. It was like abandoned. It had like old cars. Mm-hmm. And so it was actually really cool. Oh, I want to go. I still like, besides that, I still not name my kid Apple. Me either. Mm-hmm. And then they they be wearing like socks and flip. The kids just be looking like they need helmets and tools. I mean, all, all rich time. kids dress crazy, they, and they all look slow. Yeah, they all look like. Well, and because they be I think well, that's pictures. because they way too old to have kids, and I think when people be the like get, be wait till they get old to have kids, that's when the kids be having problems. Maybe I like green eggs. Oh, Lord. I do not like green eggs and ham. I said little babies be green. Mm. You be seeing them, everybody in the picture smiling. They be like this. And they be mean. And why you have on a tuxedo with Borets? Like, who who dressed you? Why are you four in this fucking tuxedo with Crocs on? They just be <laughs> fucked up. Having too much money. Mm-hmm. But I just get to do whatever they want. And <laughs> let's get into some freak shit. <laughs> 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 that was just so kidding. <laughs> but, but you're not. Uh, yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> um. So, ladies. How important is foreplay for you? Yep. I think it, I think it's important. I Absolutely. think men miss the mark sometimes. Yeah. Like, I need you to, you know, rub my head. Touch you know, me. touch me. Like, yeah. get me in the mood. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm going to be in the mood anyway, but, like, get me there even more. Think, you know what I'm saying? I think I get more pleasure from foreplay anyway. Yes. The sexual part of it. Because the sex is, after that, it's like a task. We got to get to the end. But, right. like, the build up to get to get there it to me is more pleasing than that the actual act itself absolutely because once we get to act you you got to get your rocks off i gotta get mine that's a task like yeah. but how you make me feel before then you know what i mean the way you look at me is different yeah but then when you fucking me because you be looking cockeyed when we fuck it's but like <laughs> if I, you know what I'm it's almost like a conversation you have yeah. between yeah. both of you without saying anything yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what i'm yes. saying with 
and I think men just don't understand this. Like, grab her face, kiss her. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Caress her. Like, kiss all over her body. Like, you have to do Talk all to of that. It starts a yeah. lot long. It starts a, a lot uh, further, longer than the people text. think. Mm-hmm. Yes. So you think, oh, I'm kiss her neck, I'm kiss her nipples, I'm gonna no, eat her pussy. That it. no, it started like 45 minutes ago, yes. my guy. Yes. And you're you could fuck that up. You can. Mm-hmm. Me giggling so, all in your face. I'm yes, just that's rubbing, all, you know, rubbing yes, your all, of all of that. That's where it starts. Like you got to catch it. You you have to catch it. You got to know when to catch it. If you're laying on, if you're laying on my lap and I'm massaging your head, anything like that, you got to scoop up. Yeah, you know I mean, you got to grab me by my leg. You got to be like, yeah, like you, you know got to do saying? something. So yeah. sexual essentials. She was on. She's um, she was. She mm-hmm. is a Samaya. Um, she was on eighty five South, mm-hmm. and she was talking to them about how important foreplay is. And um, she was saying it takes a woman about eighteen to forty minutes mm-hmm. to get warmed, to get warmed up. up. And I was thinking, like you know, I, like you said. Uh, a lot of men they miss the mark on that because they just you know they think that when you're in the bed y'all kissing okay so now she's ready to go mm-hmm. no you should have been working on me all day sexting me you know or mm-hmm. when i get home like you said rub my neck rub up my or back if i'm in there and- cooking or washing the dishes come up behind blow on my neck kiss me on the back of my neck something Grab you know what i'm saying ass, that's like, like, going okay like, like and then they wonder why i take that so on me with a heart on because yeah. i Something rough. That's gonna you gonna do like this and then do like this for two minutes yeah, like no. that and wonder why it ain't. And why? And why? You wonder why you nut already and I have. And it I because have. It took me too long mm-hmm. to get there. Like, like I ain't even all the way wet yet. You already there because yeah. it don't take um, it don't take us nothing to get the man there. You can rub him a little bit, blow on him, and, and he's like, yeah. like he ready. Yeah. Like and even though go. I'm, and even though I feel like I'm ready, like. Knowing your body knows, like, this just is the tip. Like, I could be walking around here horny tingling for a minute before I actually am, you know what I'm saying, before I'm ready. That's beautiful. I could still cook a dinner. Yeah. I could still wash dishes. I could still all but that I'm while I'm warming. About it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Niggas can't do that. That's something that we have. Like, you got to catch that. Have y'all ever experimented with, with uh, edging? Like, when you're, about to, when you're about to come and then he stops? So this happened to me recently. I was like, oh, my God. So what's happen- what happens is it's like... Um, like if they're giving you head or something like that they're eating you know eating your pussy and then like when you're like i'm about to come and then he stops they gotta stop <sighs> y'all that shit <laughs> oh my god i was like what what are you like, doing like, head like, blow off. Right, yeah. <laughs> experience no because what it does is is like it's it stretches it's called edging because it Mm -hmm. stretches out your orgasm super long so like if he keep going and then you you know then you climax of course it's over like you you have to take a little while to to get back started but when they stop in the middle of and they just stop for a minute and then you know like play with it a little bit and then go back oh my god that shit right there imagine you 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 have a sex and you get in there and then he comes and then you just being like well that's stupid yeah but he didn't come and he just goes back and then yeah. he revs it all the way up from the bottom all the way up again to the top and, and then, then it's in the middle and then it's to the top that shit <sighs> that shit is amazing I didn't. I didn't know that because I, I didn't know that my orgasm. Now I heard. I heard about it before. I didn't know that you could stretch it out like that. Because I'm gonna come regardless. I, it's happening. It's right. gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> this is really happening. This is guys. gonna happen. But I never knew that you could stretch it out like that. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like I was thinking about it the whole next day. I'm like, it. And it, <laughs> and what it did for me was it. It like turned me on so much mm-hmm. to where I like I like. Unlock, like, oh, no, nigga. Oh, like, you ain't oh, going nowhere. You yes, ain't going you nowhere. You getting all this. Everything. <laughs> oh, yep. I'm opening my mouth so you can come in. And all that. You getting all the nasty. He was like, <gasps> right? Yes. I love the glory. You're like, oh, that's all I have to do? Yes, because I love you. <laughs> I love you. So why are you being <laughs> weird to <with> me? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I want to do to you. <laughs> and it goes on, on her Joe shit. <laughs> Girl, mm-hmm. like, what when, is it, this? when you can have like an all day, like when you just all day, and you just continuously, and it's foreplay because it's all day. Y'all not having sex. You just, mm-hmm. oh, y'all, what tomorrow is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what tomorrow is? That, oh, I'm just thinking of foreplay. It's like, it's, it's, important. it's, it's so, so important. important. It's everything. Because it's just like, First of all, that hurts. You're not just going to come at me. We're not doing that. You're not right. dry. Yeah. Like, no. 
Mm-mm. And then no, no, I need and, all of it. I need you, all of it. And that that unlocks like a different side of your woman too. Like yes, the way that you make me side. feel. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you gonna get all you gonna get everything. The yes, I, piece of me. Like the way that you make me feel, I'm going to give it back to you. So y'all saying when you do that, Multiply. they get the hotel sex because we know hotel they get sex. hotel sex. Hotel sex faces be nasty. Mm-hmm. They be nasty though. And you gonna I'm I'm cooking. Yes. Yeah. Like I'm cooking, cooking. Like not tacos, nigga. I'm cooking. What and do you want? You, you said you said you want it. the ham hocks and the greens this time, right? I got okay. You, okay. You, want, you want braised uh, uh, oxtails or you want them like the regular kind? You want them with gravy? <laughs> I oh, okay. I can take the bone. I can take the bones out of these. You, I'm doing everything. For you. <laughs> All of that shit. That nigga in there making cornbread from scratch and made the homemade yeah. biscuits. Everything. Like damn. Bitch, All whatever, whatever you ask you don't cook me. breakfast and you don't start a dinner. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you ask of me, you. I'm yours, 100%. The royal penis is clean. Absolutely. Minus. Because you took the time <laughs> to make sure like. that I got what, what, I, what, I, what I needed. Whatever Before kind of food you like. <laughs> <laughs> A big dog. <laughs> Hop on one leg. <laughs> oh, I see you two are getting along very fine. <laughs> Excuse us for one moment. Because I think intimacy is important. Like, it is important in a relationship. Y'all got to be, like, together on that. And then Absolutely. You got to be... A, Sweet 10 12 years in, I still need to make Listen, sure that this you is. You are definitely not getting that routine head. Nope. If you do all that for me, no, well, you finna get all this. Go, go, you finna go, get all thousand. this throat. Turn the camera on, baby. <laughs> Watch this shit. <laughs> Look, we here. I'm in here moaning while I'm sucking. All yeah, that. No, you in there ordering Dickinator 7000s and shit. Baby, get this one for next time. <laughs> like, you just doing all kind of crazy yeah. shit. Dickinator. Dick <laughs> Show this. You, you, you have to. Um, especially when you know when y'all been together. Oh, well, 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 yeah. You have to. Because, it, because there are peaks and valleys. Yes, when you're, absolutely. When you're in a, a long-term relationship like that shit, sometimes it just feels like, routine. all right, we're going to work. It's routine. It's like, oh, okay, it's, it's Tuesday. Yeah, and then we're going to fuck oh, today. Oh, we ain't had sex in three days this Come time. On. Yeah. Like, it could turn into that <laughs> very easily. Uh, but let me just assume to, the position. You have to know how to rebrand that shit. You and. The rebranding is always fun. You be like, nigga, really? You did it. <laughs> you you think about that shit the next day. That motherfucker be at work. You, you be at work that. and your shit be like, ooh, we yeah. like. You know, you get that little jump like, yeah, oh, feel it. Nigga, I ordered last two night was today. <laughs> yes. I, and, oh, oh, you want you want me to drive to go get you hamburger? I got you, my nigga. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm going there. I'm standing line. Oh, like you the show me world, baby. Ooh, just living want. in it. Mm-hmm. Be smiling and shit all day. Yeah, How like your day. Wonderful. Well, why you do that? <laughs> why you? Can we do it again? <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> just oh, check your hands. Be singing and shit the next day. Yeah. Yes. Wake up looking at him. I'm you're so really, handsome. Look, I really love you. <laughs> Rubbing on his face. You be like this. <laughs> you so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the birds be yeah, wake up early as fuck. Birds be chirping and shit. Birds be like, chirping. The skies are blue. He be looking at you like, what's wrong with you? Nothing. You don't love me again. You don't love me more today. <laughs> you know, I just, you know, I'm so. I just glad. like waking up looking at you. Yeah. You're so sexy. I love I'm you so, so much. I'm so glad that I chose you to be with forever. Like, no, no, no. You gotta switch. They're like, dude, also, watch out. Like, Why? I, I just can't believe you chose Acting me. Acting weird. <laughs> You chose, me. you chose me like that's amazing yeah i did baby yeah you chose Ooh, me yes like what i love the way that you love me you love me so much i, I love how yes i you, you i love the way you show me no, i'm over here then come yeah, on i'm about to take she like she's thinking about it right now mm-hmm. i gotta go to the <laughs> so what you want to eat tonight because yeah. it's all on me baby <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so what do y'all think then is the difference between having regular sex and being on some freak shit? Then I don't I don't kink shame nobody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So don't yuck my um. I don't know what freak shit is because I ain't gonna open up my bedroom to everybody. But do what you do. Just shit, keep the kids out of it, I guess. And boo boo. But I think, I think regular sex is just like the everyday, like you say, the routine shit. Yeah. I think anything outside of your normal routine be some freak shit to me. Mm-hmm. But what I mean, then it's just, but it's regular to you. So no, even if it's your freak shit. Do y'all feel like freak mm-hmm. shit, quote unquote? Has, That's your um, turn. <laughs> I know. Do y'all feel like it's evolved over the years? Yes, because like absolutely. remember at one point like it, yes. everybody wasn't you sucking, sucking dick. dick? And then like eating pussy was just like so you eat. Niggas like, like oh that nigga was eating her coochie. Like what? 
everybody was like, Ugh. now you're like, yeah. please eat mine, yeah. please. You eat her ass too, come and, over. And the butt. <laughs> please. It's you like- licked his balls? You juggled him? I'm like, what? Is that a thing? Now I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see him. <laughs> but the gooch. You went down to the gooch. Yes, so come here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me kiss it. It's crazy. But you gotta add a little, you little bit more spit. It's crazy how you much know, it you has to do changed. What? You ever be like in your mind? I, when I was young, I'm never doing that. Now somebody asks you, "Girl, oh, you want me to do what?" Oh, I wasn't sucking dick. I Let me definitely see. wasn't sucking mm-hmm. dick. Because white girls, that was, girl that was demeaning. Like what? What she did that? <laughs> Let me be your puppet. <laughs> Me. Drop it down. Tell uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, me more. Oh, God. It's it's just crazy though, like how the times have yeah. re- and these. I feel like these past few years it has really upcharged because like shit is. We wasn't talking about eating ass like two years ago. No, now it's not. just like. It was on, I feel like it was on us. Like niggas are more open to doing some shit. They probably not gonna do it in the open or not gonna. They'll talk do about it, it, but they don't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, they don't talk about it. Oh, you surprised me. You wanted me to. Do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's try it. You want to swing? Let me get my big ass. Oh, <laughs> I see. I'm interested in that swing. The I'm door interested. Swing? Yeah. But I'm just afraid that I'm gonna break my frame right now. No, no, no it's, a lot more, it's a lot more secure than you think. It's, it's, is it? Yeah. Hmm. The only thing. <laughs> oh, you know. No, I have not been used one, but I was at somebody else's house. You know, girls night. Oh, like, let me get on here did. and see. Wasn't it a bachelor party? Uh huh. And I was like, this looks like it's. I that was, that cool. was fun. I yeah. used one. The only bad thing is, is you have the height differences because okay. I'm so short. Like, it's. You be up all the way up in the air. Mm-hmm. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like I think you have. So to, he need a step stool. Or you have to adjust it. The, so okay. if you go down lower, you feel like well for me because I'm shorter. I'm like damn, it's a lot of door that I I feel like I'm close. You feel like you're close to the ground, but you have to be at their level in order to. Mm-hmm. I, I always wanted to be like tied. Uh, oh, those wedge things. The wedges things. I want to try that too, but like that, I it's have a these sex wedge. Um, you gave you I, got them for me. Yeah. I still haven't used them. So when I was Let's moving, I tonight. found them. Now I got to find them again because I got to figure out where the what fuck I it? put them. Because they're like straps that go underneath the mattress mm-hmm. and they you can put your arms in them. And it's very Strap firm. your arms and your ankles. And yeah. And then to the bed. I don't know. I don't, I don't, know. I don't know. like to be. You know, I, I want to do that. See, that's the thing. No, it, it, see, that's some freak shit. That's some shit that you, you don't see, normally like, do. You got to try it. Because what if my you, arm not too little? I'm, my arm is not going to No, it's not the way it works. You got to see the thing. Okay. Because mm-hmm. I, I found mine the other screen. day too. Yeah, I was moving. I was like, "What is it?" I was like, "Oh, these are my straps." I was like, "I could finally use them," but I forgot I where the fuck I put them. Something with sex, but I I want a wedge mm. or one of them. They're, they're expensive. Too. They're hella Shit. expensive. So I'm figuring we should probably just go to Home Depot and we can make one. Bitch, <laughs> you got <laughs> wood all your out shit. Out of memory foam. It's uh, out of memory foam. It's a couple pillows. She gonna make a ramp with, with some wood. <laughs> she got <laughs> splinters and shit. Girl, they got one on here for two seventy five. Mm-mm. Y'all know I'm cheap. You can get a Dickinator 7000 for cheaper than that. What is a Dickinator? That machine that do this oh, shit. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the <memory laughs> What they call sex wages? <laughs> She goes, mm, they yeah, had yeah. Him, they had him I'm feeling store. like you got one. Uh, I do. She has a dick in there. I told you. I'll talk to y'all about she, it. Us? she has a dick in there. i it. You like it? Yeah. Sex it's, it's, you know, okay. Look at that. I this talk about it way too much, but the reason why I like it, especially if they're, if he's controlling it, because mm-hmm. as soon as you, like, he can go fast, and then when you got the climax, he can make you edge again and mm. slow down so that you don't come. Is it white? Uh, it has different attachments, but the, so your your favorite dick is it white or is it no? It's it's did he help black. you pick it out? No, like the dick. It, it's like a it came with the attachments. Oh okay, yeah. It's so like jet black. I have a friend who is into some freak shit. She's like one of my best friends, and she <coughs> actually she talk about herself. She pegs her husband. No, I am not talking okay. about myself. <laughs> <laughs> you ought know, to be like, I have this friend. Yeah, no, she does, and like. She, I was talking to my husband about it last night because we were laughing at the fact that they were just so open. About they were it. open about it, and I thought that was dope. Like that's a little much for me. Mm-hmm. So that to me is like extreme freak shit. That's where I don't want to go. Uh, no, we we cool. But I was asking, I was asking them like, did did he go and pick out his dick size? Like, did he go and say, okay, you know what, I want this dick. <laughs> this dick I want. This the dick I want. Or. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I don't kick. I really don't kick shit, especially when it comes to butt play. But that's a lot uh, for me. That's exactly. I'm not going. I'm not going yet. They're yum. They're enjoying that. But they were just talking, and I was just sitting there like. And she's out. With, she bought shirts and everything. Now she'd be like, I "Well, it's my really a thing. In. It's really a and thing. It's a lot." Like, I, my yes, cousin they are. was talking about. He was talking about uh, single women right now. He was like, "Yeah, they out here fucking these." Things. Yes, he was like, it's, he said it's real wild out here in this world. They out here fucking niggas. I'm like, well, I hope are they telling who they're fucking because that's trash. The, mm-hmm. Don't like, do I don't that. think yeah. that's okay. You know, inflatable. Um, it's, it came inflatable. Sorry, I'm. I'm She's looking research. for a wedge. She looked for, look for wedges and shit. So I'm not talking about the shoes. What? <laughs> I think that's so funny. Yeah, that's the, like what? What is? What is that freak shit? Because we arch. do everything. I think it's it's it helps with the art. It's um pegging is freak shit. That's some super duper freak yeah, shit. Yeah, I think freak shit is is just anything that is know. not of your norm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's not your morning like quickie to go go it's to not work. Your morning. It's definitely not that. Come put your hair right here. That's definitely not no freak shit. That's the regular shit. That shit makes me angry. Like if you pull <laughs> my head, that makes me mad. Like I don't now. I, no, I, they don't I, pull your head. They just do like this. That's when you know they're ready. What do you like, mean pull your head? Like if they like pull your head over towards it. <laughs> no. It, it oh, yeah. It's like no. that, that soft wake get... up. Oh, yeah. It's going to get some the very tip. I'm going to be I'm so mad and get your ass away from me. <laughs> but you get in the laziest head and right. then I'm going to just get on top because you just need to come I, at this I really point. enjoy it. So I don't know if it could ever be lazy because then I'll be yeah, like. Yeah, I'd be like that. Makes, if you do that to me, that um, you're not getting I wouldn't give it. I wouldn't give you head at all. I'm just not. Yeah, I think I'm I always. Pretty, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to ask gonna today. Terrible. I think I always give gray head, but when I'm drunk, I think I give the best head. If I'm not too, too drunk. The throat be I remember one yeah. time he was like, you going too hard. I was like, oh. <laughs> My man, he was like, he was like backing up. I was like, "What's wrong with you?" He was like, "You look going too hard." I was like, "Oh shit!" I was, like, I was fucked up. You really thought you was fucked? I thought I was killing it. You, you were sucking the concrete. Yeah. Strong. <laughs> Literally, yeah. like you about to rip. I was like, he was like, move. I was like, I was like, stop moving. He was like, "Shit, you going too hard?" I took all the skin sorry. Off. Like, you about bad. to rip a whole dick off right now. What are you doing? <laughs> 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 like, did you just take a bite out of my shit like a switch? Mowgli, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to find me a sex witch. And if you guys want to donate a sex witch to the show for property for testing reasons. Do demonstrations. Demonstrations. I mean, not us, but we'll have somebody do it. Yeah, it's one for 23 Okay, we'll find one. Anyway. You got yeah, a, just a don't go to Adam today. Eve, um, like, no, it's okay. I, I, I kind of do. Uh, it's it's not like you lie. Not about sex. No, it's, it <laughs> is. I do. So, would you rather know how you're going to die or when you're going to die? What? Ah, I'd have one, Wage. Um, I don't think I want to know how because then I'm going to always be like, like if I'm doing something, they say, you're going to die swimming i ain't gonna never go go swimming if you're gonna die in a car accident i'm never getting in the car if, if i know when i feel like you're gonna try to you know beat, beat the clock like you know what i'm saying i like, would try to i want to know when. anxiety I like yeah i think i, I think i want to know when because that way i can do all the crazy shit mm-hmm. like oh you guys want to go skydiving it's not my time you know what i'm saying oh i'm gonna go swimming for sharks mm-hmm. but i think when does kind of prepare you for it yeah, I, I'd like to know when. It's like bucket list type shit. Yeah, I do it's everything like I that I want to do. This day, you guys enjoy me up until this yeah. day. You know I'm gonna die. Here. I just feel like you would be more. I think if for me, I think I would be more paranoid because when the day comes, like yeah, I've enjoyed it, but now like, you know what I'm saying? Like what time today? When you know? What if, I don't what know. if you find out you're gonna die sneezing? And you can't control it. <laughs> I might be just like, <laughs> look, <laughs> try to hold it in. <laughs> Like all the time. Hell no. No, I don't even know how old am I going to be. Y'all remember Grandmother Willow from uh, Pocahontas? <laughs> the first shit doing it. Nope. Both of them had the same friend. What did they do to the kids? <laughs> like, no, I don't want to know how. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I think it's when, I think when would probably be better for me. Because I, I, either way, I have anxiety on both yeah. ends. So I'm going to be anxious either way, but, uh, Probably win because then I'm racing. Then I could let I'm, a, I'm letting everybody know, like, okay, this is taken care of. Y'all got yep. this, y'all got that, blah blah blah. I don't want it to just be like a sudden death of me scratching my head. And then, now yeah, what I'm if gone. you die like some? What if they tell you you're gonna die some fucking stupid? 
Like then you like, or somebody gonna slit your throat? Like what the fuck? I don't want to know about why that. Why was I there? Like what? What was happening? Why did Why did my throat get slit? I mean, I could be ninety two and my throat slit. So I yeah, but what if What if they like you gonna stub your toe on the bed? It's gonna and turn again. All green. shit gonna just yeah, and you gonna die. No, I'm gonna be mad. Now I'm not even sleeping on the bed. Now I'm gonna be like all the Instagram on the girls mastress. on the fucking air mattress. <laughs> I said mastress. <laughs> There's that. Mm-mm. Why are you trying to take us out of here? But shit. All right. <laughs> Alex, what you got for us? Oh, we in a long time. Day job. This was good. I can't wait till you yeah. come over. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, set the, set the mood then. I, this is my shit. I'll see. Y'all nasty. I like to this suck is my shit. Drum. I like to suck with no drum. Come on, my baby. She was a dog. Yeah. I need you to do it. Can't wait, can't wait. Pussy, yeah, she's gonna be gone. Wait, didn't you give her like Ooh, four hours of milk? Like, like all day or something? Nine hours long? They asked me. I would. I don't know, but this is always. Are they together? Oh, that just was the intro, y'all. That's okay. That's okay. If again, if you guys aren't already, please, please follow us on all social media platforms. That's SPSM underscore podcast. Leave us some questions. Send us some comments. Shout out to Patrice. Thank you, baby. Yes, shout out. I love you so much, girl. Um, again, thank y'all for tuning in and rocking with us each week. We'll catch y'all next week.